my name is Mike, um, and I'm here to do a, a quick review on the uh, new Seat Assembly Sleeping Pads that are coming out in the spring of 2015. Um, I have actually just finished the John Muir Trail running from um, Yosemite National Park down to Mount Whitney. Um, it's like 220 miles by the time you come down off the mountain. And I had the privilege to use one of these new pads uh, that are not available yet. Um, so basically, Cedar Summit's got a series of pads. I was told it took them three years to develop. Uh, they weren't inter interested in having, um, I guess, the lightest or the uh, warmest pads. Those categories are already covered by um, several companies and they've done it well. Um, what they really went for was comfort. Um, and I will say that this is the most comfortable pad that I've slept on as I've slept on it for the last 14 nights. So um, there are three basic series. You've got the um, ultralight series, the comfort light series, which is what this one is, and the, I believe it's the comfort series. Um, in, the, in each series they have a insulated and uninsulated pad, so essentially there's going to be six um, different pads, uh, plus in the comfort series I think they're going to have some rectangular ones that aren't tapered. So, um, The unique thing about these pads and what makes them so comfortable is these um, these little sprung cells or little pockets here. So on a on a traditional pad, when you when you shift around, you move all that air around. So you kind of get that uh, like pool float effect. You know, you lean this way and it kind of turns that way, where you're you're sitting up so high on them that as you move, the whole thing kind of shifts and it almost feels like you're floating. Um, so with these these little these little pockets here, as you move, you just kind of compress the pockets that you're uh, that you're over top of. Um, and so it doesn't, the air doesn't shift throughout the, the whole pad. Uh, you'll notice your little air sprung pockets are larger down here uh, towards the leg part of it. Um, and towards the middle here, they're a lot closer together. So as they've created this kind of quilt effect, um, down here towards the feet, they are quilted all the way through. So one dot matches up with the other dot on this side. So it goes all the way through. Um, and in the ultralight series, this is how your entire pad's going to be. It's going to be this quilted through um, method. And as you come up here through the body, through your core, where you need more temperature um, or better insulation, better um, kind of padding or support, uh, there's actually a middle layer that runs right through the middle of this. So, uh, say this hole actually goes through and is welded to that center piece that's through there. And then, so then there's an, a bubble on the other side of that. So. Um, and there is a synthetic insulation that's um, throughout to give you the, uh, the warmth that you need. Um, I will say that when you lay on this pad, give it a couple seconds, you can feel that heat coming back up on you. Um, so if it's a little bit chilly, I think this pad has a R value rating of 3.5 or 3.6. Um, and I was in um, 34 and 36 degree temperatures a lot of mornings. Never felt a bit of cold. It was extremely comfortable. Um, and if you've seen anything else from Sea to Summit, like their uh, sleeping pillows, which are absolutely awesome, they have this nice inflatable um, or inflate valve. It's a one-way valve here, so you just blow into it. There's no, like, really blowing a lot of pressure. You can almost just breathe into it. Uh, then you pop this one, and it deflates the whole thing really quick. So um, these are some great pads. going to be available uh, early 2015. Um, unfortunately, I have to send this demo back, but I will definitely be buying one as this is... I will say the most comfortable sleeping pad I've slept on. So, um, quick rundown of Cedar Summit's new uh, sleeping pads. And uh, I hope it was informative. And uh, you should get one, because I am. Thank you. See you later. From Yosemite National Park. Bye.